Lord, we thank you for your word today. Father, we ask you to bless it and keep us and protect us today. Help us to apply it to our lives, Lord. More so now than ever, Father, help us to be your people in this time. Lord, reveal yourself to us in all things. And help us to understand every word, every meaning, every intent, Father, of, of your message to us. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 21 through 25. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was lying, that means guile, found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, he reviled not again. So when they were giving him a hard time, he didn't say anything back. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you for this word today. Please, Lord, help us to apply it to our lives and to walk in your example righteously. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Let's look at verse 23. Who, when he was reviled... He reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. We're going to be judged someday by men and by you know, other things here on earth, but they can't hurt us in the long run where it, where it counts. The one that counts is the Lord God. When we're judged by him, we wouldn't have been found to have been walking in his footsteps and to have been separated from sin. He can see that we separate ourselves from sin and, and we removed lying from our mouths. Amen? So we can be judged by Him who loves us and judged righteously. Let's put, our, let's put Christ as our example today. Let's seek out and apply that to our lives. Let's, let's think before we speak. Let's talk less and obey more. Amen? Lord, we ask you to bless us, keep us, and protect us. Lead and guide us today. Help us, Lord. Answer our prayers, Lord, as you see fit. And help us, help our children, Lord. And bless them. Have mercy on them, we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.